Well, the Children's Museum of Virginia just got even more exciting. If you can even believe that. <laughs> Beasley Planetarium is now open. It's a state-of-the-art facility ready to take you to the depths of the ocean and the far reaches of space and everywhere in between. Here's this week's postcard from Hampton Roads. Well, just when you thought it couldn't get any more exciting here at the Children's Museum of Virginia, it is another brand new exhibit to share with you. And joining me now to tell us all about it is Dan Boric. He is the manager of the Beasley Planetarium that is about to open its doors to audiences. Absolutely. So when people hear planetarium, they're, they're going to think uh, moon and stars. Hey. Will they get that here? Well, you'll still get some of that, but uh, you have to think nowadays with our really graphic sensitive kids and they're really, really prone to their, their Game Boys and stuff, we need to do something comparable. So in the planetarium, that's exactly what we do now. We're very graphic savvy and uh, put together shows that will fill the dome, not just with stars, but anything that we could think of. Okay, so not just uh, planets and space exploration, but just some neat kind of feature films that are coming yeah, out. Absolutely, we're coming in. There are, there are uh, holiday films coming out we're going to be putting in. Uh, it can be anything. Don't think of it just being a space planetarium. Welcome to the dark side of the universe. Think of it as being your basic coral reef. It could be a rainforest. It could be anything we want it to be, a, a desert. Mm -hmm. We could change any environment just depending upon what we want to load into the, into the projector. What do you think enhances the experience about seeing something like you said, maybe about a rainforest or a coral reef? on the dome-shaped screen versus a, a flat screen or even IMAX. Right, and, and televisions have 3D now and stuff, but you really don't get the effect. And here you really do, because as you look around you, you see it all the way around you. It's those humans again! The sound fills the room and uh, so do the images. It's kind of fun. How have the kids reacted so far? Fantastic. Uh, I think our, our biggest thing right now when they come out of there, even the younger ones, our current show is, is about astronomy and how telescopes have been used over the years to, uh, since, since Galileo's time in 1609, uh, kind of a celebration of Galileo's accomplishments. Um, and they come out of it, three-year-olds come out, you know, so that was really cool uh, because of what you fill the sky with. It's not just the telescopes. We, yeah. When you see the Milky Way in there, it's, it's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I like the motif of the outside. Well, tell us a little bit more about the inspiration for this. Right, I think our whole first floor in the, in the museum is kind of like a little mini trip to Portsmouth, a, a little working town. And one of our favorite things in downtown Portsmouth is our Commodore Theater. And yep. This is our version of it, style and cues taken right from it. And uh, it's a really kind of attractive entrance to, uh, to our planetarium. All right, it is a neat looking entrance, but the real eye candy is on the inside. So For make sure. sure you visit the Beasley Planetarium soon here at the Children's Museum of Virginia and tell them the Hampton Roadshow sent you. Man, Pat Dowd is awesome, but is. I mean, it's very hard <laughs> to, to do justice to that domed movie mm -hmm. screen. You that know, was cool I mean, you got to go through. Yeah, it's really neat, but you have to go see it in person. If you want to know more about what shows are coming, what times they're showing, there is the website for the Children's Museum right there, and on it they list the planetarium show times. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, comfortable seats. It's really state-of-the-art. I mean, it's really a long, long way from maybe the planetariums of the past where it was just kind of like the dots for just the stars. Just so much yeah. more movement and graphics. It was really, really Interesting. neat. Interesting. We'll have to yeah. check it out. All right. So